let me tell you everybody what's up and it is getting spicy here in foxholes i right now you can see i'm building up a supply truck i'm gonna be to produce some lodgy and we're gonna have some crazy battles but let me tell you we're getting our asses handed to us boys and girls man look at this war map right now Whew! we have a big front getting pushed right down here right now at fort Ryder, uh at teller's farm uh great warden's damn where i damn where i am up currently right now just had the alarms going off for a potential nuke gonna hit us uh i don't know man it's getting tight nukes are gonna start going it, just to polish off this game i don't know ladies and gentlemen but if we get a nuke it's not gonna be good Whew. let me tell you that was close uh we just got intel back that the spotters for the nuke have been eliminated it's getting tight it's getting tight it's getting sketchy tight scary all the above uh, I'm gonna try to get some logistics down to that line and then hopefully we're gonna have some cool war After I get that logistics for a couple runs done, and I feel happy that I've Done a commendable action right, We're gonna bring this logistics down to the front lines B mats are always needed uh, For vehicles building defenses and just just everything they're the basic material That's why they're called B mats um, so yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna honk a horn a couple times. Last time I came down here, there was a couple infantry just scouting out the area, I guess. Uh, allied infantry. Uh, and I, uh, accidentally ran one over. Uh, I mean, that's what he gets for standing on a fast roadway. Uh, this is one of the main roads, and, uh, I mean, I get it, but, uh, buddy, he were in the way. Alright, so we're starting to get down to our little build up here uh not a lot of concrete the concrete's over here in the front we got a lot of the non-concrete stuff back i really do wish we had more they've been beating us up and pushing us back this war is not looking in our favor for sure i'm gonna try to get on the other side that's where the tanks are um just to give them more supplies for themselves and uh, obviously people that are building stuff on the front so maybe we'll also get to see that the war is right here on this road right up ahead of us i'm gonna take a left turn right as soon as i can to try to avoid it we're probably gonna see a line of tanks up here yep here's some infantry and here's a turn here's some tanks and yep there's all other tank line up there you see them backing up now night's approaching let's go ahead and take a look and see how the other side of the map looks here Ain't looking very well. We can't really see much. Uh, you got some lights a little bit over here. I'm assuming they're they're stacking up right there. Yeah, it's not looking like there's many infantry on the bridge itself. Um, which then will not allow me to hit. But it does look like there are a lot of trench lines back here. They're definitely uh, holding out and waiting to push. Or again, they might have done what I said earlier. And they might have just pulled back for this line and given up. Why? Why push this line when they can reroute all their units and come right down here and just push right here? Because if some of our infantry have pushed across and are trying to take them, I'm going to go ahead and drop 80 millimeter distance, 210. So we're going to go ahead and drop out Look at that, get this all bad boy pulled out here. We're going to go... Who's all the way up at 80? My max. And 210. Scroll left to, left to right to the top of the screen there. 210. Firing. Now we're using shrap metal charges, so obviously any infantry over there are going to have a great time with those great bleeds. So we're going to throw two, three rounds at them. Really just uh, give them the business. And hopefully that they land on target. I'm going to go a little bit more to the right. Hopefully for effect that my uh, hits hits. It does look like my hits hit. If you can see, there's a lot of dust right there. So that is exactly where I wanted to hit. Beautiful. So as you can see, the medic vehicle just pulled up and just did that. You know what I'm going to do to that medic vehicle? Give him a little taste of my own medicine. And we're going to give it the same thing we just did.
All right, let's pull out the Binox and see what we've done. Again, we hit directly where we wanted to hit, right in that trench line, right there. It looks like the medics backed off, and we probably wiped out at least a good amount of those infantry. As you can see, yep, they're pulling guys out, and medics are trying to get in there and save their fellow men that I just obliterated. I was getting bored up in, you know, this area here. They said they needed armor, and... They never actually brought any. I don't know if maybe they have. I changed route. I changed route when I got back in the vehicle. And I got back up, came around, grabbed some supplies. When I went through wardens, and then I came down and to come to find out that the wardens had blown up the only bridge for us to resupply our boys and girls at the front lines. So what we got to do? We got to fix this bridge, hopefully, and then get across and get these well defenders. You know what they need. So right now it's. It's crunch time. And let me tell you, Wardens, you guys are just doing... Mm, they are definitely giving us the business this war. And it's looking like it's coming close to a finale. So, woo, celebration. We finally got this bridge fixed up. We're going to now be strapping all these supply trucks across. All these tanks. All the everything. And obviously, like I said, I didn't come empty-handed. If I'm going to transport somewhere, if I, especially if I go through a town that's got supplies, I'm going to grab some and bring them to the front with me if I'm going to fight there. And we're going to fight there. Let's get it. We're on the front, ladies and gentlemen, and you can hear the storm cannons ripping. Let me hear it. Ooh, baby. Let's get into this fight. So you can see you got a lot of shiz going on. Got infantry all over the place. You got uh, our tanks trying to push through. It's nighttime. This is a dangerous time because most of the time at night, they like to push. So, oh, they are in those trenches right there. I got an idea for that. Even those that have gas masks are going to enjoy this one. Good couple toss grenades, you know, just for the good old care and the... Love and respect for those uh, great old wardens over there that just took a big one. I think I just knocked out all those infantry machine gunners. Nope, I did not. Oh, I'm taking some blood. Hopefully that medic can get to me. Give him a little up and down, get his attention. Right now the voice chat's kind of being finicky, sorry. And uh, it's not working, so kind of... Chatting is the only way, or obviously doing little things just like that. Oh, we gotta watch out for that barbed wire there. Oh, look at that armor push. Oh, no, sir. What's up, that? Getting caught up in this barbed wire. Trying to push over here. My guy keeps getting stuck up. Come on. You can do it. Hey, here we go. Oh. I got you, brother. I got you. I got you. I got you. No brothers left behind, man. I got you. I got you, bro. I'll get you out of here. You hold it tight. No. Couldn't get him in. Couldn't save his life, guys. I knew the medic was back here, and I was trying to get him back. I just couldn't. Couldn't get it there. No more grenades, so I really can't. Ah, I'm down, boys and girls. I'm down. Medic! Get me out, medic. There we go. A proxy. It's got me up and it's bringing me back and it's going to patch me up, hopefully, and we're going to be back in it. Man, he's bringing me very far, dude. What are you doing? 
He's getting me up. All right, all right, all right. And we're back in it. Oh, man. Feeling better than ever. So for fighting now for about two and a half hours, almost three hours, Todd is going to put on the throw in the towel for the evening, but wanted to give a little intel on the map and how the war is going in our favor, which it's not. As you can see, I'm back at Warden's Den, and we're still fighting here at the same bridge, and we haven't really moved. Uh, we were there earlier, and we were fighting, and then we came down here, and we fought a little bit, and it's the same stuff. Just back and forth, back and forth, and they're just weakening our defenses, and eventually they're going to do is they're going to bring a mortar line up here, just heavy mortars, and they're just going to bomb us right out of it. It's the same nonsense they've been doing for this entire war. They tire us out, they get enough supplies for mortar teams here, they'll get them lined up, and they'll just hit us hard. Uh, and it doesn't really uh, do us very well. Um, so we're going to hit two fronts there. We've been doing that the whole time here. Uh, as you can see over here, it uh, looks like we're building up. I don't think we're going to really push out, but it's looking like it's pretty much lost there as well. Uh, other fronts as well. It's the same kind of stuff. We're getting pushed. We're getting pushed. They're pushing really aggressive, which good for them, obviously. Obviously, the this area here is looking like it's uh, going to be taken within probably this night, tonight. Um, I get off, I'll probably get up in the morning, and this will be gone. Or vice versa. Maybe we'll get some uh, pushes, and uh, we'll go through. Uh, same thing on this front here. It looks like it's just... They're pushing up. They're probably going to hold out for a while. They don't see really many infantry there, but they'll come back to it later on. And then the real big push that's down south that's happening currently is right here. This is the big push that they're currently working on, as you can see as well, from the south. And they're doing a lot of work down here and doing a lot of hitting on that. Um, but the big, two, big, the big two fronts currently, well, three, is right here, there, and up in... The, Obviously, how co uh, county now the big issue with if they take out this is our a lot of our building and a lot of our stuff that we do logistics wise and all of that is right here in this point. So, taking this will be a very, very big asset for them because with this, they could build all of their units and everything and all that right here at the front and keep pushing. So, with their closest one, I think it's back ways. It's somewhere in yonder, so they got to truck everything over. But if they can get something right here on the front line, we're done for. This is why we're trying to hold so hard up here, and that's why they're trying to push so hard up here. But on that note, we're going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys go ahead and click and show some love. And also send some likes and some comments. I hope to have some more content and show some greater battles but tonight was a really slow night. We didn't really, we didn't do much advancing. We're more or less defending and getting our asses handed to us. Part of my French. But maybe tomorrow will be a deader day, and maybe we'll get some recordings done tomorrow, and maybe another video. Stay tuned.